All right, so on page 423 today, we're going to talk about uh, rectangles. And a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. and has the following properties. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. I'm going to write Psalm 180. Diagonals bisect each other. and are congruent. <clears throat> so very similar to the properties of just a parallelogram from yesterday. The only thing I see being different is that all parallelograms don't have four right angles. And all parallelograms don't have congruent diagonals, all right? But rectangles, kind of the key difference here, rectangles, they've got the four right angles, all right? They're still a parallelogram, but they've got the four right angles, and the diagonals are congruent. All the same properties as a parallelogram, but... Four right angles every time, diagonals congruent every time. So the problems you're going to be doing today are very similar to yesterday's. You're going to be writing equations and solving four variables or four side lengths using these rules. 
the main thing I want you to see today is let's take a look at uh, page 424 up on the top example two and get that diagram drawn, drawn on your paper please it's the um, quadrilateral JKLM is a rect rectangle And we've got JKLM. Now, all of these angles, this angle M here, all of angle M or angle JML, this whole angle is 90 degrees. All right? And that's true at each vertex. It's a rectangle. All the angles are 90 degrees. What you really have to understand here is that this angle right here, angle KJL, is congruent to this angle right here, angle JLM. Because If, if we take out these sides, and don't draw this part, just look for a second. If we have this and this, and they're parallel, and there's a diagonal through here, all right, and it's a transversal, this angle is congruent to this angle. Agreed? They're alternate interior angles. And this angle is congruent to this angle because those two are alternate interior angles. But they're not all equal to each other, are they? All right, so make sure you understand that when you're doing today's assignment, that these alternate interior angles are congruent. Just like right here, this angle is congruent to this angle. They're alternate interior angles. And that this one is congruent to this one. Because those are alternate interior angles. But in a rectangle, they're not necessarily equal to each other. The only time they're going to be equal to each other in each vertex is when you have a square. And you have all the same sides and 40 and four 90 degree angles. In that case, all of the diagonals will be angle bisectors. But in this case, with rectangles, they're not. So what you're told today is that KLJ, I'm sorry, KJL, starting at K to J down here to L is 2X plus 4. And JLK, J, let's see, J to L up here to K is 7X plus 5. All right. Now, those two aren't equal to each other, are they? But isn't the 2X plus 4 also apply here, or doesn't the 2x plus 4 also, oh boy, also apply down here. This is also 2x plus 4, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to solve for x, all right? So, 
The 2x plus 4 and the 7x plus 5, they're not equal to each other. They're not alternate interior angles. But this 2x plus 4 up here is the same as this 2x plus 4. And now, don't these two angles down here at angle L sum 90 degrees? All right, this angle in this rectangle is also 90 degrees. All four angles are 90 degrees. So your setup is going to be that 2x plus 4 plus the 7x plus 5 is equal to 90. All right, and then you can combine like terms. So your 2x and your 7x is 9x plus 4 plus 5 is 9, and that's equal to 90 can subtract 9 from each side. And our 9x is equal to 81. And then divide both sides by 9. And our x equals 9. All right, so be careful where the angles are or where the expressions need to go in the problem so that you set up your equation properly because you can have a case where let's say we have another another rectangle And maybe it's only got one diagonal. All right, maybe you're told that ABCD. is a rectangle and that angle a d b all right is 5x plus 10 all right angle a b a d b and that angle d b c is 10x plus 20 now your setup's going to be a little bit different right because these two angles are now congruent to each other. They're alternate interior angles. They're on opposite sides of this diagonal. And if they're on opposite sides of the diagonal and the shape is a rectangle, then they're congruent. So now you would set up your equation as 5x plus 10 is equal to 10x plus 20. All right, make sure you see the difference here. So we're going to subtract 5x from each side. And we get 10 equal to 5x plus 20. Subtract 20 from each side. Negative 10 equals 5x, and our divide each side by 5, and negative 2 is equal to x. All right, so angles on the opposite sides of the diagonal are congruent to each other. Angles up here, these were on the same side. This given angle was on the same side as this angle. They were on the same side of the diagonal. All right, if they're on the same side of the diagonal, opposite of each other, then they're going to sum 90. If they're on 
opposite sides. Now we're, we're on opposite sides of this diagonal. Opposite of each other. They're equal to each other. Make sure you see that difference when you're solving these problems today, when you're writing your equations and when you're finding angle measures. All right, so if there's not any questions, that's all I got for you for today. A lot of the same materials yesterday, just a little bit more in these diagonals. So your practice is going to start on page 426. And problems 10 through 19. And over on the next page, 26 through 31.